Well, hi everyone. It's Rob Lawton from Trinity Episcopal Church in Southport, Connecticut. I hope this video finds you well and that your week is off to a good start so far. Thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of your day to join me on this reflection on scripture and to do a little coloring with me. And I'm going to send you a special resource that's got a few things that you can do with your loved ones at home. Just some simple activities and a couple nice discussion questions. If you got this video from me by email, then you've already got that resource and that coloring sheet. But if you came to this video some other way and you would like that sheet, please just send me an email, associate at trinitysouthport.org, and I'll be happy to get that to you as quickly as possible. This past Sunday, we celebrated the baptism of Jesus. John the Baptist was in the wilderness calling for people to be baptized to show that they were changing their hearts and lives and wanted God to forgive their sins. Everyone in Judea and all the people of Jerusalem went out to the Jordan River and were being baptized by John as they confessed their sins. John wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. He announced, One stronger than I is coming after me. I'm not even worthy to bend over and loosen the strap of his sandals. Now I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Now about that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee, and John baptized him in the Jordan River. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And there was a voice from heaven saying, You are my Son, whom I dearly love, the Beloved. In you I find happiness. In this story, we hear about Jesus' baptism. I wonder if you have any memories of your own baptism. Maybe you don't remember being baptized, but you have your baptismal certificate or the service bulletin from when you were baptized. Maybe after we're done here today, you'll dig that out and have a look at it and think about what your baptism means. I wonder, though, what did you think Jesus' baptism looked like? What do you think that voice from heaven sounded like? What do you think people thought when they saw a dove descend from the sky? And how would you feel if you were there? When I think about Jesus' baptism, I also think about all of the baptisms that I've seen in churches, too. Baptisms are a special time because we get to celebrate how much God loves us, and that when we become followers of Jesus who share that love with other people, we live into God's promises for us. After coming up out of the water, a voice told Jesus that he is beloved. To be beloved means to be loved so much. We are all beloved to God. We are all members of God's family, and the waters of baptism remind us of that. How does it make you feel to know that you are beloved of God? The dove from the sky was a sign that God was in the world with us. I wonder what other signs of God's presence in the world you see. I wonder who has taught you about God's love for you. Who in your life breaks through the clouds and makes you feel loved or appreciated? Maybe this week we can take a little bit of time with one another to remind ourselves that we are loved by God. Maybe when we see someone we love, we can say to them, remember, you are loved by God, and I love you too. I 
invite you to pray with me. Loving God, we know you are always with us and you love us. Help us notice people and things in our lives that connect us with you. Guide us to follow and make you proud. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Well, thank you for taking some time to join me today. I hope that this was a bit of a break from the busyness of your day. And whatever the rest of your week looks like, I hope it's great. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Bye.